We got King Size Sound Labs and Eagle Rock recording the Terraplane Sun EP. I grew up on a lot of Motown and R&B and blues, and then I got really into blues music. And uh, Johnny grew up on the Beatles and Beach Boys and that kind of stuff, which brings like a really melodic, kind of poppier thing to it. How I originally got into music, well, I didn't really have a choice, I don't think. I was kind of born into a musical family. This band is a, definitely a band full of characters, that's for damn sure. Uh, Lyle, aka The Kid, is easily the most irresponsible person I've ever met in my life. But that's why we love him. We've been in the studio recording the EP for about a week and a half. And it's a collection of, I feel like, songs that we've all kind of had a big collaborative effort on. How did this bottle of whiskey go away? I smashed one. Did you? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you smashed one? one, I just popped it open. Cecil, just the backbone. Hilarious. Dude, we call him Uncle Shmish. To me, he's like my uncle. <laughs> I grew up as a guitar player. And then, when I moved to Venice, I got invited to play in a band. And the bass player wanted to play guitar. Asked me to play bass. Just clicked with it right away. Gabe, our secret weapon, the orchid. The kid can just pick up an instrument and be a master of it within minutes. We really dig it here. It's like a good energy and um, all the, the instruments. They have these beautiful pianos and organs that I get to play around with. We're gonna do a clap track. I have a fever. The only cure is more cowbell. <laughs> Working with Dave Trumpio is such an honor and a pleasure. One thing I really love about the CP is like every song is super strong. There's really no filler. So every time we go to a song, it's like a new surprise right around the corner. We're gonna like use these overheads and then we're gonna layer it and then layer it and layer. We'll follow your lead. Our producer. Oh, sounds like a plan. I haven't been excited about, you know, every song on a project in a long time as much as I'm excited about these songs. It's great working with Dave. He really gets like a good take out of you. So what's going on at the very end of the bridge? We met with a few different producers and Dave was just the coolest. So we dove in head first and we're doing six songs. that we're recording it's kind of like just really natural songs that we weren't trying to sound like a certain thing or do anything that was out of you know what we naturally did and I think allowing that to happen has really made some great music. Yeah everyone's super hands-on in the writing process and stuff which is cool because it gives you that sort of you know, to band characteristics and stuff too, versus one person writing everything and bringing in it so it just sounds like that dude. Instead, it's like everyone sort of bringing in their pieces and sort of, in, in essence, it sounds like terrifying, so it sounds like a band. We all just try not to overplay at all. Try to keep Everything just simple, caveman, you know? Now I go, I go up to that A flat. I like that. Bum, bum, bum. And you land on the A flat. Hey, do you want to go out there with a the guitar and just kind of work out with it? Uh, sure. Oh. Go back to the E minor. Uh, it goes. Alright. I'll try my favorite song, Friends is a pretty powerful number. That's one that Ben and Gabe did. Now my love, she's calling.
they're one of those bands that have that special uh, combination of talent and it all locking together to make a great sound that's their own. It's rare to find five people that can really like, not only stand each other, but like creatively be in sync. I'm incredibly excited for the new EP because uh, we feel like these are the best songs we've ever written. It's the first time we've had like money and time to actually get into a studio and like have it sound the way we want it to sound. Yeah.